So here's an interesting story. Denver Elections tweeted this out. After reviewing signatures submitted by the Denver Psilocybin Mushroom Decriminalization Initiative, it has been determined that they submitted a sufficient number of valid signatures, and the question will appear on the May 7th, 2019 municipal election ballot. So in other words, uh, Denver is going to vote to decriminalize magic mushrooms. Now, I need everybody to understand that decriminalization is not the same as legalization. So decriminalization means just that. You don't, you're not going to get thrown in a cage because you're caught with mushrooms or maybe even selling mushrooms. That's all that means. Legalization means, okay, not only are you not going to get locked up, but we're going to allow... Uh, you know, selling it as a basic business practice. Now, they're not saying it will be a legal business practice if this passes. They're just saying you won't get locked up. So there's a difference between decriminalization and legalization, and people need to understand that they're, those are two separate things. But, I mean, obviously, I think this would be a step in the right direction. But I have to say, I'm a little skeptical as to whether or not... Like, I think that if you put legalizing marijuana up for a vote in basically anywhere around the country now, it'll pass. Uh, as long as there's not a giant lobbying effort against it where they lie and all that stuff, and that happens sometimes. But uh, assuming a fair framing of the question and not insane lobbyist money pouring it on the opposite side, guaranteed legalizing marijuana passes anywhere in the country. Now we've opened the door a little further to magic mushrooms, and I don't know if the public is going to be as open-minded on this one. Because, yeah, magic mushrooms, it's a psychedelic drug. It's a hallucinogenic drug. And... You know, I think it's a common feeling people have, myself included, by the way, in terms of my personal preference for substances. But the ones that actually literally change your consciousness in a way that's, like, tangible in terms of seeing shit that's not there and whatnot, those are a little scarier, man. It's one thing to have drugs that are uppers or downers. Um, that just changes your mute, mood. Hey, uh, I'm really high and energetic. Hey, I'm really relaxed and mellow. Like, those are uppers and downers and kind of traditional drugs, but... When you talk about hallucinogenics and psychedelics, it's like, damn, playing with reality. Now, let me be clear. Do I support decriminalizing this? Absolutely. But I'm just saying my personal bias is that the, these are in a different category than the other drugs. Um, and I don't fare well with, with these kinds of drugs. Uh, even mildly, like, weed is, like, mildly psychoactive, and even that gets me going, like, whoa, what the fuck's happening? Uh, I get very paranoid when I smoke marijuana. Um, but I hope this passes, and I hope this starts a trend of, at the very least, decriminalizing these drugs. Even though these aren't, you know, my kind of drugs, I, I would still legalize them, because I think they should be legal. Um, and also, let's be clear that there's a lot of evidence coming out now about how various psychedelic drugs, including mushrooms, for people who are in hospice and are on death's door, basically, when you give them these psychedelic experiences, it really does take away their fear of death and makes them happy. Because so many people, may, might even be over a majority, though don't quote me on that, of people get depressed when they're about to die. Which is only the most understandable and reasonable feeling ever. You're about to die. And you're going to be sad. Anybody would be, for sure. I'd be depressed as a motherfucker. So, um... I think it's only right to allow these people to, okay, whatever you want to try. You want to try fucking magic mushrooms. You want to try LSD. You want to try fucking ayahuasca. You, I don't give a fuck. You want to do cocaine. You want to do crystal meth here. Have at it. So um, I think this is a good thing. It's a step in the right direction. But honestly, my early guess is that it's not going to pass because we still have a lot to do in terms of raising awareness, raising consciousness on this, and explaining to people that it should be allowed. Um, and it should definitely be decriminalized, but I'm not sure it's going to pass, but I hope it does. And I'm happy somebody in this country is now taking that first step. So a lot of credit to Denver. I think Denver is really leading the way here.